again, YouTube. Uh, it's uh, in this video we're going to be talking. Uh, we're going to be doing the next issue of the Fast and Furious Build Your Own Dodge Charger kind of thing from me from Fan Home. It's going to be issue number fourteen. And um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. So let's get started. <laughs> okay, this is issue number 14. We'll go through the magazine real quick before we build the model. <clears throat> get into a little bit of the pictures. I'm over dropping stuff. <laughs> Almost dropped the oil. But anyway. Uh -huh. Alright, so here's the part we're looking for. It looks like we got uh, the heads to put on the motor, and we got the valve covers, and we got CM screws and DP screws in this SU. And it's pretty much straightforward, you know, just putting the heads on the engine along with the valve covers. So. Should be getting close to actually putting the motor in the car, or should the, the chassis. Should be getting pretty close to that. It might be in the next series. I'll have to look that up on the, on the Fan Homes website to see about that so but anyway this is what it's going to look like when it's when uh, when this section is done so we'll do a little bit more some little helpful information oh, i like that yes okay and this is what's in the kit it ain't this probably be a short video unless i do some fillers or something like that to make it longer but all we gotta do is put the heads and the valve covers on, and that's it. So it should be pretty quick, maybe, unless I add some extra stuff in it. Who knows? Okay, let's get started. Okay, in this section, they want us to take now. Both these valve covers are exactly the same, got but I gotta do it twice. So it's the same steps for both valve covers. They want us to take. filler cap and it wants to attach it to the valve cover just gonna stick it on there like that and they want us to hold it on there with a DP screw no oil needed so screw that in until it gets tight You don't want to overdo it or crack it. So, okay, snug. Well, that is a little bit loose. So I guess you go down until it's tight. <laughs> yep, there you go. You just tighten it up. Okay, and then they want us to take a the top cap, the cap cover, and then they want us to gently press it on. To the uh, the filler, or should I say the yeah the oil filler cap? So I'll just press it on. Like so. There we go. There's that one. I got just repeat it on the next one. Just take the oil filler cap. Take a DP screw. things first one goes on easy and then the second one's gonna give me problems okay yes! okay there we go get it rolling okay 
Okay. It's nice and snug. Or it will be. Okay. And put the other little filler cap on. Take care of that. Now these do get your fingerprints on them every time you. I mean, anything that's shiny is gonna get your prints on it. But anyway, that's the next step. Okay, in this section they want us to attach the uh, left cylinder head. They call it the uh, left bank cylinder head, mm, but that's just a cylinder head. Now there are a, there is a right and a left side. On the inside of the stamp of the head, there's a L. Stamped right there. You can see it. There's an L, and then on the other one, it have an R. Alright, so they want us to attach the one with the L. It needs to go on the side that has the oil filter on it. Okay. Now, the, the little holes that are on here point away from the motor because that's where you have to attach your headers to later on. So it's going to line up like this. And then we have to attach it with two CM screws. Use a little bit of 3-in-1 oil. Get it started, and I'll attach the other one, and tighten them both down. Okay, I need to press down a little harder. Even with oil, it's still hard to go down. Yes! Snug. Okay, just go down until it stops. Like that. Okay, there's that head. Alright, next section. Okay, in this section, they want us to take one of the valve covers that we did, and they're both exactly the same, so it doesn't matter which valve cover you grab. On the cylinder head that I just put onto the engine block, you see there's a little raised area right there at the bottom of the head. And on the inside of the valve cover, there's also a raised area. But on the bottom, there is not. So, this is the way it needs to go on. The raised area goes in the bottom of the valve cover. And since it's smooth on this side, then there's a raised area that goes there. And it, it says to put it on this way. And the valve cover will be held in place with four CM screws. Okay, get those out. Don't spill on them everywhere. What I'll do is I'll start one get one started and then I'll work on the next one until I have all four put in and then I'll tighten them all up so okay looks like I'm going to be a little bit move, a little fidgety here I heard somebody say that once and now I'm saying it <laughs> you ever have that have one of those moments when you hear somebody say something a certain amount of time and then you start picking it up and saying the same thing. Yes! You ever have that happen to you? Yes! 
I think I picked it up by watching uh, World, of, World of Wayne on one of his, because he says that sometimes. Fidgety. It's like, yeah, that's, I guess that's a good word for it when you got parts that are a little hard to put together. Or should I say when stuff's a little bit difficult. Screw them all four back down, and then we can tighten all four of them down. Adjust this light again. Okay. That still ain't working. Hang on. Let me adjust the light again to get a better view. Okay. Well, that's about the best I can do with the light right now. It's going to be shadowy and everything, but I'm trying. So I'm going to do it that way. Maybe it'll work. Screw these in until they stop. I don't want to do too much because you could crack the valve cover. You could strip the heads off. Or strip the screw heads off. Or you could be you could break a screw. You could strip out the threads in the hole. Anything bad can happen if you over tighten. Try not to scratch the valve covers. Okay, make sure that's tight. Yes! Okay. Next section. On the next section, they want us to put the little, uh, what do they call that, the, uh, the other valve cover. But I've already done, I already did both of them because they was exactly the same. So they just wanted us to put the little oil filler on it. So it's already been done. Now the step that comes after that, they want us to put the head on. And on the inside of this, it will show, there's an R stamped in it. If you can see right there, which goes on the right side. And the side that has the holes on it, it goes down. So you line it up with the holes on the engine block or the head and they want that held together with uh, two CM screws just dab a little oil It's going in straight, not crooked. Get it in there. Okay. Get them both started, and then I'll tighten them both down. push down a little firm when you're turning because if you let this if you let the uh, screwdriver turn without turning the screw too many times it will actually strip this head out so you don't want to strip the head out because it'll be really bad trying to get it out okay next step okay in this step he wants to take the valve cover and again you know if you look at the inside on the bottom of the head it's got these little raised little yeah, little tangs, or whatever you want to call them, tabs. And the valve cover has them on the top, and the head has them on the bottom. So it has to go that way. It can't go this way, it won't fit. So 
and get us to go that way. Uh, and line it up where the holes are in there. Okay, just checking. <laughs> Alright, I have to line the hose up. And this one's going to slide off when I let go of it. The other one's kind of stayed in place, but this one wants to, wants to slide off. Alright, so this one might be a little fidgety. Let's see if we can manage to get it on there without... without uh, losing my composure. We'll see if we can get it one started, and then we'll let's get the others. hold it in place so I can get the other screws in. We get them all in, we'll tighten them all up. Okay. A little bit more light over here, please. Right in the way of my hand. Okay. <laughs> Do it that way. Tighten these up. Put a little bit of force on it. Just don't push too hard. But you don't want the screwdriver turning without the screw because if it does, then you wall it out that head and the screw head and it won't turn anymore. Snug it down. So it stops. Okay. And there we go. And that completes this stage of the uh, Fast and Furious model. And I'm bumping into stuff again. <laughs> we'll have a quick look at it. That's what we got so far on the engine. We did quite a lot. Looks, it's getting to be a little heavy. I still don't know what the weight of it is. I'm going to say probably under a pound right there just with the engine alone. And it still ain't done. It's still got more that goes on it. So, yeah, that's not bad. I like to sit back and admire it sometimes. Okay. No. Yes! Okay. Uh, well, anyway, that's it for... Uh, for issue number 14 of uh, the build the, uh, the Dodge Charger RT from Fast and Furious uh, it was I like this one this kit was easy it was real easy and so was the other two that came before it or the other three that came before that uh, so yeah they were real easy to do I enjoyed it I had fun making the video on it it wasn't frustrating like issue number 10 was that was that was a that was almost maddening right there for the steering assembly. That was that was rough. Okay, compared to this, this was easy. Okay, so if you want to hit the like button down below, I appreciate it. And uh, if you want to comment in the video, you can down below in the cut in the description or not description, but down in the comments, you can put a comment down. If you got the same model or if you have little tips that you can put in to help other viewers that are having the same problem you having any issues like I'm having or or if they have a different issue you know just put your concerns and stuff in the comments and I'll and we try to get a little community going of people that will you know we can help each other out and you know something that you know if we're having issues with the same model you know maybe we can help each other through the issues that we're having so uh, yeah so like if you like it and uh, subscribe if you do subscribe Hit the notification button down below so that way it tells YouTube that you like these kind of videos and it will also let you know when I put, when I put a new video up. And uh, I guess that's it for now. 
and uh, can't wait for the next shipment so I can see what's going to happen next. Yeah! Alright, as I said, I enjoyed this one. This was easy. So, and of course, the video is going to be short. So. Yeah! Anyway, I'll see you when I when I get the next video uploaded. So, bye. Yeah! Oh, he likes doing that thing. I'm telling you. <laughs> Thank you.